No, I'm in a dungeon. What do you need, honey? Yeah, are you in the bathroom? Yeah. What do you need, honey? Oh, uh, I, um, I, um, I, um, I, um, I, um, I, um, I, Hello, hello.
Hello, hello. You guys are having a good night? Your cools will be back here in just a moment. Seeing what trouble we can get into in Cavernum. Ah, oh, very cool. Welcome. So how long have you been playing? I'll tell you, you have joined a good server. Star and I have been playing on this one for two years now. It's fantastic. Nothing compares. Ah, sounds good. So have you played UO before? Or is this your first UO experience? Sounds good. So, one thing to keep in mind with Outlands is they've changed everything. I mean, everything you knew about UO, throw it out the window. Because <laughs> they have redone everything. They've gone in and updated all the skills so they're all useful now. You have aspect gear, treasure mapping's different. Uh, every skill has a use and is worth taking. The challenge is figuring out the seven or eight that you want to take. 
Uh, for a new character... For a new character, you've really got a lot of options. Um, just recently, they did a Dexter overhaul. So, what that means is... They took each weapon skill. So think about macing, fencing, swords, parry. And they took those skills and they created what are called codexes. And each weapon skill has a certain codex. And certain skills unlock ranks in that particular codex skill. So for example, I'm a fencer and I've got enough skills that allow me to unlock four ranks. And for this particular skill, it increases my attack speed by 3%, but I take 2% extra damage from all sources per rank. So when I get to 5, I'll have a 15% hey, increase attack speed. Coming in. Okay. So really cool how they've done it. Now the Dexers, especially getting started on Outlands, incredibly easy to get a character rolling. Uh, the Bard Dexer is top-notch. So I've got a build I'll share with you. It lets you get five codex skills, so you get all the benefit of the new Dexter overhaul, but you still get to utilize barding, so peacemaking, discord, and within a day or two, Macron, you could be down in some of the hardest dungeons you know, taking on content, making gold. Let me see if I can find one of the links real quick. We join the chat. Yeah. Give me just a second. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? We have Mr. Crash on level one, Gav. Thanks. All right. Let me see what I can find here really quick. So I'm looking for particular video. I think Pwnstar did it, but let me check. Hail Adventures. I want to say he did a video. Um, there's a robot. I have a robot echo. I put on talk because you can hear me talking through your mic and then you hear me talking through the... Yeah, so I, uh, I'm not going to do push talk anymore. I did push to talk, so if you're talking to me while I did that, good feedback through Discord and through Twitch and everything else. Should be better now. I just I've people complain about it before, so. Yeah, let me know if you keep hearing it. Maybe um, Surprise did one as well on setting up a new bar Dexter. See if I can find it. What's up, dudes? Here you go. This video is fantastic. There you go. All right, now as far as the bar dexer goes, I like that up too. Hold on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, let's wiki. Let's see. Codex. Alright, Weapon Shield and Codex. So when you look at the Weapon Shield and Codex entry, you'll see that there are certain skills that let you, that need to be at least 80 to unlock ranks in the Codex. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense. So you want 100 Mace, 100 Tactics, 100 Peace, We'll just go in music, painting that I mean, okay, give me just one second. Uh, maybe I'm slower. Okay, let me add this up real quick. Okay, I'm out of Okay. Here's what I'd recommend. Getting these all maxed out, you're going to have an opportunity 
to unlock five codex skills plus with the music skills piecing on this server is amazing you use piece on it it just stands there lets you attack it for you know up to a minute doesn't attack you back doesn't do anything just stands there it's so easy to use and the cool thing about it when you combine that with discordance which by itself at 100 points gives you a 25 percent damage bonus right but when you use it on a pieced mob it increases the damage bonus to 50 percent so they do some absolutely insane damage that's the build you want something you could macro up in a night or two did you say you're a cat? yeah I'm on uh, level one. Alright, let me drop this stuff off. I'm not, not going to try to save my deck that night until I get okay. these pets level up. Yeah, it would. Give me just a second. I'm just going to drop this stuff off. Maybe. Um, let's see. Um. What do you think about, about putting, putting like, 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 putting like this character? Putting what? 20 alchemy. 20 alchemy. It helps. I think I'm going to. I mean, it's just going to increase potion effectiveness. I'd run 20 alchemy or 20 camping before I did 20 points in anything else. Alright, so I think I'm good. Let's go to cavern. You certainly could. There's not a... I'd say there's not a downside to two bards running together. At most, one of you could peace, one of you could disco. But the thing about it is, is that inevitably you'll fail. You'll run up to a tough mob, try and piece it, and it'll fail. With two bards there, it gives you double the chance. Uh, and of course, if you piece a mob and then you use discordance on it, everything attacking that mob gets that benefit. So there's a lot of value there. Now, if your friend or you didn't want to play a Dexer, or a bard Dexer for that matter, you could always run just a general Dexer um, and they would benefit from those bard skills as well. Obviously, peacemaking because they wouldn't be attacked, and then discordance as well because they would do some additional damage too. So there's a lot of a lot of benefit. Now there's one skill on this server that can be very beneficial, and that's forensic evaluation. So forensic evaluation allows you to carve. Well, you can carve hides with a skinning knife. But forensic evaluation lets you carve more hides. And that leather sells for three gold pieces a piece just for the regular leather. And you can get a lot of it really quick. So uh, that can help you get rolling too and help you get some money to buy gear and outfit some of your other characters that you want to do. Like say if you wanted to make a mage or something else. But I normally play either my Tamer that I'm playing now, or I play a Dexer as well. I really appreciated what they did with the Codex. Really made playing a Dexer a lot of fun. What I didn't mention is with the Codex, as you unlock ranks, once you unlock that fifth rank, you get to unlock a Finisher. Now, when you unlock your first rank, it's got a 10% chance to go off when the mob falls below 33%. Really can be powerful. Like this, uh, the flurry finisher, for example, increases your weapon speed by 25% for 20 seconds. You're like a windmill in a hurricane with Fency. The archer tamer is incredible. Um, I did an archer tamer for a long time. Um, used a water suit with it so what I loved about the archer tamer was each weapon type has a special attack so swords is bleeds, macing 
does a stamina reduction and has a chance to do a stronger, more powerful hit. Fencing lowers armor. And then archery does a hinder, which a hinder works a lot like peace. Uh, they just stand there. And with the water suit, um, I had like a 40% chance to hinder. It's awesome. Interesting. I didn't think about running Hurting Major. I run Tactics and Healing on mine. What did you do as far as your stats? Do you find, uh, I guess you have like maybe 40 intelligence. Yeah, that's smart. Do you use bed any? Or do you just use a greater heal on the pets too? Hmm. Okay, so that gives you a couple of, uh, couple of heals in there. Hey, somebody's trying to log into Jade's Roblox account. Hmm? Somebody's trying to log into Jade's Roblox account. Okay. I have two set verification turned on. Do you think it's him? Maybe. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I probably don't have to worry about the greater heals too much with uh, the hinder. It's really nice. So, what do you think about the herding? I, I've always, I'm so torn. I like it, but when I use it, I'm like, eh. You know, even at uh, 100, you know, it's 25%. Alright, so see, he just did the hinder. Mob's not moving. Love it. Yeah, the vet supplies are really nice. Um, need to refresh mine. Hmm, that's interesting. I've got to rethink my template. So the character I'm playing right now, I replaced fencing with... Or, I'm sorry, archery with fencing. Uh, actually, before that, I did macing. Tried it out. And now I'm trying fencing. And uh, so far, it's a tough pick between fencing and archery. You know, archery, obviously, there's so much survivability. You'll see as I play tonight, you know, I take a ton of damage just from being within the mob's range, which sucks. But with archery, like you said, you know, I can sit back, do hinders. It's really nice. But I guess having hurting too, really got to rethink this template. Yeah, no kidding. Especially like we did the demon earlier, nearly killed me. <laughs> Now this aspect level is a little low. I've only got it up to three. Normally I run water. But um, Star and I, we decided to try Fortune out for a little while. See if it made any difference. So far so good. But I don't know. What's uh, random luck and what's Fortune, right? But uh, on this character I plan on taking healing to 100, so I have 120 taming, 120 lore, 100 fencing, vet, tactics, healing, and 80 arms lore, and I'm going to try it out for a little bit. Now, ultimately, I want to make sure I at least unlock four slots of codex, but other than that, I think it'll be pretty solid. Yeah, the water's really nice. What do you have your water up to? And um, up to eight. And I mean, even then, thirty-four percent bonus. Wait, can you have to really Yeah, it's incredible. Plus, not only the healing amounts received, but you get that additional chance to do a weapon special too, which with a archery just means more ender. I think mine's probably close to 40% uh, chance right now. I mean, the mob never does anything. It's hindered the whole time. Especially uh, if you use a bow. Yeah, those codex slots. I don't know, when I don't pay attention to them, they go up really fast. The moment I start watching them, it's such a drag. <laughs> I feel so bad. I mean, I feel like I kill 500 mobs and it goes up 2%. And 
and then I gain three levels when I'm not looking at it. Okay, I don't really want to find those soldiers. Those things take forever. Uh, pull the other one. Maybe Dracul, Dracul's pulled the other one. Alright. Uh, I got the murderer. Oh, he's bugging out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt. Such a fun build to play, Archer Tamer. And it's funny to see how the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I saw a video the other day. Uh, somebody went down to see if Ossuary Level 4 could be run with Husk Crabs in a water suit. And did surprisingly well. Yeah, Summoner's really good. Again, you know, they've come out with so many changes to, you know, provide some consistency between the classes and their effectiveness. And just like the Codex for the Dexers, recently they came out with a Summoner's Tome. Um, I don't have it on this character, but the Summoner's Tome lets you level up your summons, whether it's summon creature or any of the elementals or the demons. You basically level them up too. And for each level, you get a point that you can use to unlock skills that the creatures have. And they're all designed around the type of creature, but it's awesome. I have. I've actually got a summoner. Uh, well, I haven't seen the summoner tamer because of the, the slots, but I did see a summoner archer. So what was it? Was it summoner dexer? Summoner Archer. I think there's a Summoner Archer. Kind of like that Tamer build. Archer Tamer. So this was an Archer Summer Summoner. It looked really cool. And those are over there. there. Uh, uh, Who? Uh, Henry? I think, I think he's got somebody else over there. Yeah. He's just not facing him. He's just letting well, it well on him. <laughs> I don't no, know, like not even attacking with my pet. Oh, oh, oh it's not dying. Oh no, oh, no I got the silly hot. You're ready to run for your life. Oh, look at that. Got the monster on our society done. Congrats, yeah, that's awesome. Four more points. Yeah, those dex builds are too much fun. Too much fun. I haven't figured out which one I like best though. So I've got the um, finishers unlocked on the Mason Codex, but I want to unlock the fencer, fencing finisher and the sword finisher so bad. The uh, the sword finishers are really cool with the flame, and the increased bleed. Looks like a lot of fun, but the special effects really cool when it goes off. There's like just blood everywhere. Nice. I'm really, really enjoying my back. I'm getting these all over heads. I feel like, like I rushed one point on my other character. character. And, and, and it didn't give a chance. Like I, didn't I didn't get to really experience the other heads. Mm hmm. I remember running that um, Anaconda and Bulbor combo for so <laughs> long. <laughs> that, was that was fun. fun. And then the Skeleton Dragon and the Reef Serpent. Yes. That was fun. I don't know, it felt so cool at 100 when you had the skeleton dragon and the water dragon, or the water drake. It's fun. It was fun. I should do all decks and damage on these guys, right? Yeah, all decks, all damage. Let's see. So, Zinnacle, what do you think you're going to go with? You and your friend have any, uh, have any thoughts on what you'd like to play? The 
Wait, not a dropped. So what's your template look like, Zoth? I'll show you mine. It goes. So there's mine right now. Oh, let me just hover so you can see it. Yeah, that's a nice one too. So 120 camping. I'm trying to get forensic eval to 120. I did have 120 tracking. This was my pure archer uh, echo. By trying to drop 120 track and get 120 frames, so this is almost done. But uh, running tactics, macing, arms, lore, parry, healing, and using the shields and mace codex. Yeah, it does pretty well. Hey, did you use that gold? Yeah. Okay. And of course, I love forensic too. Stuff. So, I don't know what it is about collecting those leather. Watch your hand. Sorry. I can never really do cross hills. Like they're close enough. Or, you know, I'm on the major. I'm going to Nice. So you got just enough major to be able to cast Crater Heal, Teleport, Wall. Nice. See, that looks like a fun build. <laughs> so, do you think you'll go to 120 taming? Mm hmm. Yeah, camping is one of those skills. I wish I could have it on uh, every character. You know, you're at the point now. being over a hundred that you can do uh, the AFK spot at the Wisps. Did you get that gold or cools? I did, yeah. Um, you can do the AFK Wisp spot. I went from a hundred to 120, uh, well, 105 to 120 in a couple of nights. Didn't really take that long. It's actually a pretty decent worm. But not good enough to sit there for half an hour and try and take it. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, I'm gonna run Dex or Bard. Yeah, the Dex or Archer's good. And of course, Taming. One thing I love about this server and how they did Taming, like on some of the other servers or even live, you know, I hated that to even bond a pet, I had to feed it an apple and wait a week. Somebody stole my vet kits. What? I got it. I'm sorry. Watch out for that Bard Prowler. Okay. Um, whereas this one, you level your pets up, right? From 1 to 10. And as soon as they hit level 1, they're permanently bonded. Which is, it just makes it so much easier. There's no guesswork. Leveling up pets is as simple as leveling them up. I'll show you what that looks like. So as you take a look at your pets, not only do you level up their stats every other level, like here for example, but you can also give them upgrades as you level them up. And they do different things. But you can select from an aggressive or damage focused trait or a defensive focused trait. And uh, really make your pets awesome. But I'm telling you, they're just. Everything they've done to, has just made this game easier to play, more uh, more fun. I know that this is the Sorry, I had a bad on you. It's okay. Let's see. I can't figure, figure out why they were inland. And I'm like, what's going on? Where are we Let's see. Let's get it blown out. Let's get two of those. Let's get some more potion. Okay. I don't really think, think I'm going to put like any alchemy on him. Yeah, I would. Because right now I've got 40 camping. And you leave most of the time anyway. Oh, you've got 40 camping. I'll stop leaving. <laughs> I'll let you do it. <laughs> that sounds a lot easier. Yeah, you can't go wrong with those uh, those builds. 
Yeah, Pure Archer's incredible. <laughs> when I go back down in the dungeon, I'm pointed out every other person is either going to be a Pure Archer or is going to be a <laughs> an Archer Tamer. Every one of them. You'll find an occasion, occasional Summoner, occasional Pure Dexer. <laughs> so Star and I, she plays uh, Fencing Tamer as well as I do. But she's got a Mage Tamer as well. And a couple other... Like she's got an Archer Tamer, tamer as well. That runs husk crabs, but she yeah, runs. Know. Yeah, you run parry too, right? Yeah, I'm not what I do. Yeah, so she gets the benefit of the uh, shield codex as well, since you can use a shield with crossbow now. So your pure archer follows your normal dexter build. So you've got healing, anatomy, tactics a weapon skill, archery in this case, arms lore if you want to go for disarm, uh, but there's other skills that you can take too, uh, tracking, camping, but if you're going to run a pure dexter, you want to make sure that you get those five codex skills, period. That's a must. If you're pure dexter and don't have the benefit of the codex, you're missing out. So if you scroll back up in the chat, there were a list of skills that I shared each one of those skills, if you get it to 80, will unlock a rank in your codex. So you need to make sure at least five of those skills are on your template, and all five are 80 or higher. And if you do that, you'll be able to unlock the full codex and unlock finishers as well. So that would constitute a full dex or a pure archer. So five of those skills with one of them being archery. <laughs> Makes it a little easy. So, not sure if you got a chance to see mine. Oops. Let's see. Oh, that goes. This build here is my Pure Dexter. So, it's got five codex slots. A typical Pure Dexter build, except for my six and seven skills, I went with Forensic Eval so I could carve hides. And I went with camping for the extra carry weight and so that I could zip around. Yeah, Zav's got the build. When I had my uh, full archer build, that's what I did. The 120 tracking, 120 camping, 120 arms lore. And it's beastly. Yeah, speaking of the, um, you know, it being a PVM build, the tracking really helps a lot. The 120 tracking, you can track reds when they leave their house before they ever get to your dungeon. <laughs> like in uh, dungeon, it's got 60 tiles that you can track, which we're talking like a couple of screens at least, right? But then with uh, Overland, so say you're out and about running Overland, it'll track 120 tiles, which is an enormous range. So if it pops up and says you're starting to track someone, it's easy to get away, easy to go get a gate. So it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of versatility. On top of that, it increases your damage a lot too. So you get the added benefit that 120 tracking, you're doing 30% more damage too. I got I didn't even eat my breakfast. Oh, no problem. A clear path for it. That's a fun build, though. That 120 arms lore, we were talking earlier about the hinders. They're just constantly hindered. Especially if you've got a water suit with uh, 120 arms lore. They're not going to do anything else. Plus, I mentioned the codex. There's uh, a skill called maiming. And maiming makes your hinder effects last 10% longer per rank and when they're hindered you have an opportunity to do kind of like a special attack that does more damage and that does 10% more damage it's really cool you know those two it's it's amazing 
Yeah, the aspects are something you owe outland specific to. Once you start getting those up, I find like once you start hitting like level 5, level 6 in an aspect, you really start coming into your own. I know the difference between, say, starting out with my water suit and hitting level 8 is tremendous. Is nice, but if you're creating a pure archer, go with Zob's build. Yeah, the summoner is is really good just because all you need is 100 major and well 80 spirit speak if you want to use a summoner's tome but all your pets are just disposable pet dies just summon another one so convenient I'm already overweight. I forgot to drop the gold off. <laughs> so sneaky. You can hand them to me. I've got like 300 stones left. Alright. Fair enough. Don't move. Can you hold 10k? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to take this and drop it off and I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. can't believe I forgot to do that. I can't believe it. We just got down here and I'm already full. Like, man, we're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> fortune's paying off. Star, how much do you think it costs to go from 50 to 100 major? What do you think? Maybe like 50k in region, 60k in region? Oh, I don't know. Do you think it's know. that expensive? I no, no it's not that expensive. Maybe 20, 30k? I mean, I, mean, I went through a few it. thousand regions, right? I think if you check the wiki, they actually have got some calculated. That's true. Yeah, that's where that bard's gonna come in handy. Because it's just easy farming. Um, our youngest son, um, he's Manan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he just started mage yesterday, so we'll know very soon how much it costs to, <laughs> to, 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 to you know, raise his mage because I'm sure we'll be yeah, thankful <laughs> on that for the nine-year-old. But that's what your parents do, Brad. Yeah. I told him, I said, start the bard. It's cheap. You can run around naked with a weapon and be really effective. But they wanted to start a mage tamer. It is pretty cool, I admit it. Okay. Come okay. around with the drakes and dragons. Yeah, I, 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 just I just got a level one. one. I was just wondering if you were still on team. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm a slow poke. Yeah, so on level two. Dragging the whole dungeon, dungeon behind me. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, right? What do you think? Pretty easy, right? I mean, that's... What I want to do next is the Peacemaker. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, especially now those codexes. <laughs> I started to do the Peacemaker Macer thing again on one of my Echoes, but I don't know. I changed my mind too much, it's a problem. You flip flop your build more than anybody I know. I am constantly changing my build. This guy's been a Peace Tamer, Macer Tamer, Archer Tamer, Fencer Tamer at least half a dozen times. <laughs> and now I'm working to turn him into a Trapper Tamer. <laughs> I don't know. 
He got, he got the money, money honey. Right. I stay broke constantly. <laughs> but thankfully, I've got a sugar mama and star. <laughs> she takes that. care of me. Without her, I'd really be broke. You do keep that shelf stock. You do keep that shelf stock. <laughs> Oh yeah, and you know, we came back probably about a year ago, and I could not believe how much house prices had gone up. I think they're going for like 10 times the bead price now, so if you got one for deed price, that's amazing. You know, I gotta ask though, so just like I flip flop my character. Wait, wait just a second, sorry, I gotta ask you the one with that. Yeah, so just like I flip flop my character all the time. Um, I've been trying to figure out what pets I want to use. So I'm trying the uh, the Blood Hunters now with the Roach. Because they get a Frenzy ability. So not only do they bleed, but they've got a Blood Frenzy. So they consume up to 10 blood within 6 tiles. It increases their melee attack speed by 15% plus the blood consumed times uh, 2%. So, they attack fast, they do a ton of damage, but they're kind of squishy. Um, tried the Sandmux too. They've got an ability where they teleport and they uh, lower armor. They've been pretty cool. But again, squishy. Done the barbed prowler thing, I've got a phoenix. But, I don't know. I don't think I've found those sweet pets yet. Like this, I miss having you know, earlier I snuck around the bottom and uh, snuck around and killed the cave gorger first. Did you, did you loot that? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Are you looting? Well, it was just bugged. Oh, okay. Got it. I'm just gonna let you loot. Yeah, you know, I even see uh, 120 Tamers still running around with the uh, Swamp Drake and the Cave Gorger. You notice I keep checking these. I'm trying to find a decent one just so I can try it out. Okay, we got three on this. It's okay. I'll do the, uh, we'll kill the Dracolis and then we'll get the Bulvor. Bulvor go down pretty quick. Hmm. Yeah, they seem really good. The Cave Gorger for the DPS and the Swamp Drake. Seems really cool. Finally. You don't get it. I thought with a hundred vet, I'd be able to heal these things 100% of the time, but I don't know. Still failing quite a bit. Oh my, oh my gosh, gosh! Look, look at that purple demon. That, that, that is so beautiful. beautiful. Did you see that? that? Mm -hmm. Oh my, oh my God, God! That was gorgeous. That looked really cool. If I could stop getting like magic lock, arc protection, stuff like yeah. that, and actually get a cool <laughs> color. <laughs> Like, oh, I got Inferno Invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> Aegis Magic Arrow. <laughs> Have you seen my red magic arrow yet? It's pretty sweet. I'm <laughs> leveling my head up for just one second. Already? Again? It just, it just hit, hit level four. four. Oh, okay. Okay, 
sad, man. Yeah. Sylvia's cruise killed everything. That's really neat to have, like, watched him from the beginning and seen the evolution of what he's Oh, there's yeah. somebody right there? Hmm. Oh, was he so large? Oh, crap. I didn't see him. Man, they killed everything. Why is Cap so busy tonight? Oh, got an air dragon. I think it's maybe it's that elemental society. Mm. Did, you Did you take that, that by the way? Yeah. Oh, with elemental? The construct? Yeah. No. No, I think it's elemental, isn't it? No. I could be wrong. I might have it. Hey, thanks, Zob, for the follow. I appreciate it very much. It's awesome. Glad you're able to join us tonight, too. Star and I, we do this pretty often. Just hang out and yeah. run some dungeons. Is our... You know, it's a husband and wives have, you know, things they do together. Uh, pretty lucky you owe our thing. I got a K-Rat respawn. We got still side. Probably still be over here well on this one when you get done with that one. This may be. Need some help? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> I can kill him as fast on this character as I normally do. Yeah. Look at that, only 10 more to go, and we've reached our goal. How cool is that? That's awesome. We got the K right too. <laughs> awesome. Blue 7, thanks. I really appreciate that. Helping us get close to that goal. That's pretty cool. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with us tonight. Alright, if I'm going to be playing with my friend who's rolling a Bard Mace here for his first character, what would be a better duo for me to roll? A pure Archer or a Tamer of some sort? Well, let me ask you this. Um, long term, what do you want to play? Like, what what type of play style do you like? I can help you answer that question. Because really, with the uh, Bard Dexter, you can play anything you wanted. Uh, there is not going to be a problem. Like I said, that, uh, that Bard Dexter... When they use peace on something, it's just going to stand there. You're not going to take any damage. It's going to stand there for at least a minute. So you're not going to be limited. Now, you screen more disposable. Yeah. So, for your question, if you're just looking for something to generate a lot of gold to get you started, Dexers aren't too bad. Like Zav mentioned earlier. They just take some time to get ramped up. You need some aspect. You need to unlock your codex and they start getting really powerful. The tamers are just really solid at any level. Um, especially once you start getting the 70, 80, 90 pets. Um, you can really take on much harder content than you could at an equivalent level dexer. But they take a long time to get leveled up. I'd say if you played every night, you could probably take a Tamer from Zoo 50 to 100 in two weeks. Then maybe another two weeks to go from 100 to 120. I mean, if, depending yeah. on how often they play, they could probably do that faster. 
I think so. It took me a year <laughs> <laughs> to hit a hundred. Um, it was terrible. I'm so glad I'm 120 now. I have no idea how I got this high, but I did. I got a window. Okay, I got a kick torture. Um, but the tamer, you know, as you can see, Star's got three tamers. I've got one. Um, they're just really powerful. Um, um, Black is back. back. Which is attacking me. me. Oh, oh, he, he killed, killed me. me. <laughs> that quick, huh? Yeah. I got 6k I'm going to run out with. Sorry. That's okay. No problem. This means we get to place more to replace it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so gold farming the Dexter is pretty easy to gear up, though. Uh, tamer can be pretty fun. Star, what's your taming at right now on Drac? Um, it's not very high. It's at 73. Yeah, yeah she's, she's just, just at 73. So, even at 70. Sorry, he's just at 73. I mean, you can raise that up in the newbie dungeon pretty quick. So, to get to 70. And, I mean, you see what we've been taking on. Of course, there's an added benefit with me being there, being a 120 tamer. But, I mean, she's doing okay just uh, with her character. Uh, we tamed her some M-Bears last night, and uh, she's leveling those up now, so they're not even full level. And as you can see, she's doing pretty well. So, but Tamer's a lot of fun. Um, there's even a lot of builds out now that don't even go max level Tamer, and I'm talking, they do really well. Um, orcs are running a taming build right now that I think only goes up, what are gorillas, 60? It's an amazing build that runs gorillas, yeah, silverback yeah, gorillas. It's, it's like 60 taming. That's it. And they are dominating people. They wreck people with those monkeys. And that mace build. So, don't even have to go 120. Uh, there's a red that runs around, Solrix. He uses the monkeys now. He does really well. So it could be a lot of fun. But I guess if there was anything I could share with you, it's that there's nothing that's really better than anything else. The balance is really good. Um, so when I play my summoner, it does just as well as a tamer does farming speed. I play my dexer, and once I get my aspect and my codex up, does just as well as my tamer. Uh, so it's fun. And of course, everything's so easy to turn up and down. Uh, obviously taming, you know, once you get that up, keep it. But everything else, I change character builds all the time, just trying different things and theory crafting. And uh, what I've found is what I thought would be better is actually just, just as powerful, just the same. Just makes it fun. So I would say, you can if your friend's going to run a bar macer, you can run anything you want, um, and you'll be doing just fine. And it's actually you're going to benefit from your friend running that piece macer because oh, you're not going to take any damage. You guys are going to be able to take on some really strong content and make a ton of money. But I shared that link with you earlier. From Trammy Surprise. Uh, Lone Star's got one too, I think. He did a test to see if he could run around the dungeon. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I think it's kind of funny. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find it and I'll share the link with you. That was a while back. He did a gold making templates. There you go. Here. I think this one included the bard. Yeah. There you go. But remember that uh, this was done back in September, so the 
the um, codexes didn't exist back then, so the template's a little different. If you use that one, it won't let you unlock all the codex skills. But for what it's worth, I don't think you need to go 120 discordance, 120 piece, 120 music, unless you're doing bosses and omnis. You can take on most content with just 100 skill. Maybe a little tougher, but you're going to do just fine. There is nothing to worry about. Uh, let's see. Let's find another one. But that video I just shared with you, uh, Pwnstar did three gold making templates. Ah, here's the video I was oh, looking man. for. So this is his newbie guide first template recommendation for UI Outlines. We're talking little to no startup. Farm a million gold naked is how he uh, how he uh, starts it out, and he's right. You don't need anything but a weapon and an instrument, and you're good. So check out that second video. I think you'll like it. And uh, I don't have an affiliate link with Pawn Star or anything like that. So <laughs> it's legit. He knows his, he knows what he's talking about and puts out some great videos. You get, uh, I'll get back up. Well, I came back to the cab, cab, cab to check my body, and there's like 10 red arcs that are chasing me. You can tribute. Uh, I, I don't have anything on me, I'm just sad. Oh, maybe we need to do a show of Dracula's Derriere, and you're probably not into gas. Erks. I love those guys. I love that they do their thing, you know? It's not even a slaughter moon, is it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, my nephew uh, joined the Urk the other day, and he loves it. Like, he talks, he talks Urk all the time. Let's see if we can speak some Urk. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. He does tell me he loves me in one language, though, so, you know. <laughs> There's that. Oh, man. He's gone for work. I expect him to roleplay when we go down and visit him <laughs> in a couple of months. He's all about the Urks. So... You want to do Palma? Yeah, give, give me just a sec. I gotta get my pets all rest. I don't have uh, 80 animal lore yet, so I can't rest my pets. Oh, you need the animal lore? Yeah, I like this left off my stuff on my body. That was really nice. That's nice of them. Yeah. yeah. That was nice of him. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Let's see. I don't know. How did the uh, mucks do yesterday? Do you remember? I ran the mucks for a little bit. Did they do all right? I, um, I don't know. You switched pretty fast, so I'm not sure. Yeah. I could do the black cats again. No. These things are way too squishy. Uh, do you have that, or are you using Majory? I got a hundred vet. Well, you, well, you could just use the vet cat, right? Oh, the cats die left and right. Especially if we do stuff that has reactive armor, like cat. Uh, gotcha, oh, they yeah. just decimate themselves. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty bad. So what do you think? Poma? Can you give me just a moment? No, I'm getting teared back up. I'm so sorry. Are you fine? Pets are leveling up pretty quick. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. Susie the Swamp Slug's level 9. You like, like that name, Susie? I do. I'm a dork. Oh, the level 10 traits are pretty cool. The slime barrage, increased damage, and can hinder hamstring. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm pretty excited, excited about that. I wish the pets still had a high chance to do their special ability in PvP. Wish I hadn't been nerfed. To each their own, I guess. Yeah. I need, I need to start, start carrying around money, money, so I have tribute for the works when they come. Did they ask you for tribute? No, they, no, they just, just chased me. me. <laughs> I got lucky. Did you, Did you um, put, put your stuff in the distro chest and then restock? Yes. Yeah, I'm all good. Cool. Oma? Sure. Oma it is. Joe Exotic. I'm going to come in at the very beginning. Okay, I'll wait on you. Free gold. I made like 300 gold right off uh, just leaving all these corpses. There's a scavenger coming out in you. Mm -hmm. I'm rich. <laughs> Remember, my nephew made like 2,000 gold the other day in the newbie dungeon with his new character he was making. He was so excited. Wow. I guess he made his, his first 2k. And I was like, you know, extra bank stuff. And hey, thanks for the follow, stud. I appreciate you joining us, hanging out with us. That's Malachi. I, I, I was trying to talk because I didn't play with us earlier. Is that Malachi? That's our that buddy. Is that the Malachi? The one and only. Hey, thanks, Zenical. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys are getting me excited. We're even closer. We're only seven away. That is so cool. You guys are making my night. I want to hit 50 so bad. That'd be so cool. I appreciate you guys very much. Hey, take it out, these Most. Most. I have them, man. Yep. So there's a uh, Bard Macer. <laughs> Telling you, I've got to start another Bard. We got Bard Macer. Got Tamer Mage. Alright, Senegal, I'm gonna go through here and we're gonna take a look at builds for you. Dexter. There's such diversity now. I mean, where he's used to the meta was the tamer. That's everything. Malachi. So Malachi got me started playing the uh, the uh, Dexter Tamer again. He impressed me with his mace build and his fortune suit. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Just straight up left. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm gonna need to res my one of my cats. Sure. Sorry, right, I don't have Hannah yet. No problem, I got it. All good. There you go. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Yep. Yeah. Pop another heal on it for you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I'll be, He'll there. be there soon. He's just not there yet. No problem. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Fully healed, ready to go. I'm gonna find a good swamp drake tonight.
Hmm. We're supposed to be looking for one for Druid, but I'm, like every time I'm done here, they're just all crappy stats. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hope he plays again. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he will. And everything's so packed tonight. Oh, I got the anaconda. I got it. You're a beast, man. Mm -hmm. You gonna turn on your void armor? Oh, my oh I forgot. Thanks for reminding <laughs> me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the void armor is amazing. Yeah, I love that cap. As well, uh, might as well. Yeah, it's just a level one. one. <laughs> <laughs> He's still, still, still my baby character. I still love these frogs. You know, when they do that uh, pet overhaul, I hope they make pets like that really good. Or at least, I don't know, usable. We'll just try some different pets out like that. Sorry, I'm multitasking very inefficiently. No problem. Right. Mm. <laughs> Multitask guy, you need to. Everything's dead. Everything. I lost, I lost ya. ya. Oh, oh found ya. <laughs> no, no, I didn't find, find you. you. Yeah. yeah, I did. Yep, I'm here. Has that got any help? I don't know. He's like running from him. Oh, yep, see there? Tamer with the silverbacks. Only takes 60 taming. Look at those monkeys. Both in silver back. Seriously. Once you touch on his monkeys, honey, you should, you should ask, ask before you touch people's monkeys. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just saying, you know, that's the pull out thing to do. I should. You're going to get labeled a monkey toucher and it's going to be bad. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can not help myself. Please forgive me. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Tell me more. <laughs> no. Uh, you're hilarious. I'm going to work, sorry. <laughs> Look at what else is. I'm telling you, those monkey builds, though. There's something about them. There's another build, so you can get the silver back at 60. And they're... They hit hard, they're pretty tanky. But at 85, you can get the blood apes. Oh, there you go, summoner. But at uh, 85, you can get the Blood Apes, which is like a better version of the Gorilla. Has some bleeds, and they're like the Raptors. So they suck out Blood Tiles and get additional Frenzy, so they attack quicker. And with the Fencer, they're beastly. Oh, crap, I forgot about that. Dropping bombs, watch out. I'm sure you killed that bomber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Those hit hard, man. Mm hmm. They don't tell him he can tag our stuff. Yep. If he wants to. Oh, yeah. He's just doing his thing. Alright, you get that one? I did, yes sir. Let's get this one.
I don't think I'm gonna go down. Well, those are you guys coming up. <laughs> I doubt there's any demons down there, but let's see what we can find. Yep, we got a pin demon. Yeah, such a nice change coming to Polma. Given that they uh, don't have reactive armor. I usually make them farm cab. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I do a better job in the monsters at dealing damage to myself. Hey, I need to get that macro from you that does the. where it automatically drinks the strength potions. Mm hmm. I can share that with you. Yeah, it works really well if you have high alchemy or if you have a water suit because the potions last a long time. You think I should, think I should put a water, water suit on this fella? No, keep that void. Keep void? Yeah, if this I had the opportunity, I'd go void. This is, this the, first is the first time I've ever tried void, so I'm still figuring it out. But I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> so I went with the first thing I could. <laughs> I'm, I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting a second opinion. Somebody says water suit's amazing. I don't like my worst. <laughs> I might be biased. I think yeah, I'm yeah. biased. Alright, let's check some dragons. Terrible, look at that, just awful. That's, That's good, good though, it makes you not feel bad about building. killing it. That's true. Okay, let's check the other one. No, oh, that one's said. If only I had good. Uh, okay. I'm checking. Dragon's gonna get killed. Um, if only that one had good wrestling, that would be a pretty nice one. I can't win them all, I guess. So close on that one. So close. <laughs> like that guy named just Prowler, Prowler Prick. prick. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's too funny. funny. Alright, powers are dead. Oh, there's one up here. And Dragon Dragons are up too, but I hate those things. I bet there's a demon up. No? Uh, I'm, I'm upgrading my pets. Give me just a moment. Okay. Oh, we got a demon up. Oh jeez. He's for sure dead now. What was it? Oh I got it! Unbelievable. Hey. Unbelievable. Lucky day. <laughs> Let's see what this is. It's terrible. Still those are only 100 though. I put this at level 5. Oh I didn't check. I was Shadow Man this is 2? 2 slot? I think so. Oh, dang it. Have you ever used them? Uh, no. I mean, they look pretty cool. I was just looking and they've got a soak ability. So, lowers armor. Oh, like oh, the dragon? dragon? Mm hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think we can make a build out of those. Like, I'm really, really having fun trying different pets and just seeing, you know, what they play like. Mm -hmm. I don't think they asked you a question in chat. Are you using any client or overlay other than the one provided in Outlands? 
Nope, this is all classic UO. So when you log in, you get the choice of UO Steam or classic UO. I use classic UO. So a couple of things I like about it. One, the info bar is really nice and customizable. So you've got the info bar. Are we fighting the mic? The info bar, you've got the counters that you can customize as well, and you can drag items to the counters. Makes it uh, really convenient to keep track of your items. Then you've got the upgraded macro screen. You've got the upgraded gumps. <laughs> you like it, don't you, crew? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I've seen the things you say and do. <laughs> uh, turn the camera off. Oh. Jones, what are you up to tonight? You tearing up the high seas? Need to get back out there. We hadn't boated in a long time. We're terrible pirates. We got our butts kicked. We yeah. went home and licked our wounds. <laughs> yeah, never went back out. Yeah, yeah. Still licking our wounds, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Nice. Man, that's brutal. Two times. That's cool. Oh, man, I hope you have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. Hanging out with us for a little bit. <laughs> Y'all good? My bad, bad. I'm still pretty low on this fella. No. That's Crew Jones is the best boat captain in Outlands. He's a beast. He is scared. Alright, you got another bard archer. That's interesting. Oh he's a he's got provocation. Now that's an interesting build that just uh, I'm starting to see more of now. More uh, Provo build. Watch out for the bomb. That's pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna have to get out soon. I got 360 stone. Remember, I have, I have camping. If you need anything. Yeah, you want to hold someone's skull? Or we can dip out into you. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> stuff spawns quicker now. I got one. Ooh, each dungeon run will probably bring out 10k, plus we'll bring out a couple of magic items here and there. We haven't gotten a lot this run. We've got a map, a small ore map. That's been it. Normally we do pretty well. But if you count the items, we do pretty well. Uh, average night, you know, we'll play for a couple hours. We'll probably farm maybe 50, 60k in gold. We'll split. And then, uh, anything, maybe five or six special loot items. Yeah, usually. Usually, right? Stanley. Which one? Yeah, healing beds. I'm gonna go check out Swamp Drake, Sure. Sure. <laughs> I don't know if he's dead. You want to try Inferno? We could try Inferno. 
haven't done Inferno in a long time. That's what I was thinking. It's been a while since I've been down there. That's an interesting build. I'm gonna kill this. You didn't kill the Defender. Oh, yeah. You know it. You know it. Yeah, so we've been playing tonight an hour and a half. So when we get back, I'll show you how much we've made. Well, I got killed too, so, so normally you know, that doesn't happen every night. That's true. We'd have a little more, right? Let's see. How much gold did you have on you when you got killed? Like 5k, 6k? Um, yeah. yeah. Well, you, well, you had handed me the gold, so. so. <laughs> oh, crap. You got me. That wasn't a 10k, was it? No, you ran that out. I can't believe we need that much. Yeah, I got 40k in there tonight. And I got. I gave you my gold. 40k? Not bad. I mean, you know, just for. We've had better nuts. Mm hmm. Now, the one thing that's different tonight is we haven't had a lot of special loot drops tonight. I normally play my 120 tamer too, so we kill a lot faster too, so I guess that needs to be taken into consideration. Yeah, this map is. Well, it's just a level. Format, so that's worth 8k. I think it's 2 2k a level, right? So that's 8k. The other night we got a couple of cores and extracts, uh, research materials. So you're probably looking at 100k in special loot, maybe 50, 60k gold after a few hours. You want to do uh, Inferno, right? Sure. Ready? Let's see what I'm trying Star's got a lot of tamers. <laughs> this is her, uh, her new one she started up. She's been playing around with it. She's got another one that's, uh, uh, it's an archer tamer, but she runs parry on it, so it's a really interesting build. Um, 80 parry, so she uses a crossbow with it, so she gets extra hinders. I think you run water on that suit, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so she's running water for that extra hinder chance, too. I mean, just does extremely well. And then she's got her 120 mage tamer, of course. It's usually uh, a pretty easy night when she's running that character. Star, she really digs the tamers. A lot. You run a lot of tamers. <laughs> you yeah. like taming. She's a glutton for punishment. Apparently. Worst skill I've ever raised. Took forever and she just eats it up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get enough of it. No. She's good. It is fun. She's right. Even the lower level character, or lower level, uh, Taming pets are a lot of fun. Just different. Let's see, at 75, you can start taming the drakes. That was fun. Remember, that was so defining when I was a tamer and I could tame something that looked like a dragon. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go higher on this one. Like, this is kind of where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. well, because I was, was really, I don't know, I'm going to see if I can't gear this one more towards PvP. I was having a hard time, like, my pets couldn't actually catch the people, like, when, it was just defensive PvP, not me, like, going out hunting, but, you know, like, my pets couldn't actually catch the people, whereas these guys have got that, like, jolt thing they do, where they, like, immediately get to the mob they're after. So oh, you're talking you about the charge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It may not work, but, you know, we give it a whirl. Right. Once I get them leveled, at least. Right. Inferno? Inferno. Cynical, if you're making your characters tonight, Star and I can hook you up with uh, some items to help get you going. If uh, you're sure what you want to play, you know we can hook you up with some armor and weapons and stuff. Like I said, just generally help get you going. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't pay attention to these monsters' benefit. Uh, my room was at the entrance of the dungeon, so it'll be a minute. Sure, no problem. 
I need, I need to mark him three runes. What are our searing mantises? There's 70. Have we thought about running one of those? Yeah, yeah but... You know, you know like, like I was saying, for the, the, like the charge on this, that's the whole reason I was wanting to try them out. Yeah. Because the mantises don't have that, that, I don't think. They've got a bleed. Yeah, that might be fun. I have had enough skill I could try either one, I think. Yeah, the mantis is only 70. Take the sim bear. Terrible. Able to come in? Yeah, I'm just at mom's. Um, I'm having that go through. There. Where did you spawn in? <laughs> did <laughs> did in the outside, outside of the dungeon? dungeon? I'm at the bridge. Did you go right or left? I, I think I went the wrong way. I went, I went the long way. way. Mm. Not the little shortcut? I'm the dork, I'm sorry. <laughs> I also might be checking this in there up here. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love the fortune special frog. It's so cool. Reminds me of uh what's her name from Diablo 3? Greed. What's her name? Yeah, yeah I think it's Greed. Water set on this guy. Over the void? I don't know. That void is so nice. Maybe, Maybe when I level it up, I'll do a little bit better, but. <laughs> I'm so jealous we got that void unlocked. I'm a little nervous how they're going to do with the demons. Oh, they'll do fine. Sounds good. Yeah, check in with us tomorrow. We'll, uh, we play about every single night. <laughs> so yeah, look us up tomorrow. We'll uh, we'll hook you up and help get you guys going. Star's got some high level crafters, so we can uh, we can make you some things, make it a little easier. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, for sure. thanks for hanging out with us. You guys have a good night. Hmm, how did I know everything would be dead? Yeah, have a good night, bud. Man, I really like that blue. Yeah, that's yeah, that beautiful. Good plant. Yeah, that's such a cool color.
What, what was, was that? that? Metallic eggplant. Yeah, that's really pretty. Guns and coins. Can you do the hellhounds? What level are they? Oh, oh, Ninety. Does, like, the whole thing. Thing. What, what is he doing? Bandaging his pets. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe the dungeons are so packed. You want to go back to cab? Yeah. Oh, finally, look at this. Made it out with a nice 2k. What's wrong with the Hellion? He doesn't like us. <laughs> what? Now it comes up. It's weird, right? Yeah, pretty weird. So what do you think about that new pink color for the Valentine's Day cloth? I'm pretty excited. Yeah. It's interesting. It's a lot brighter than the last pink that a couple of years ago. Yeah, I mean, I prefer the first one that they did over that one, but I'm still going to buy some. Yep. Let's see here. Go. Alright. Up to 43k, that's not too bad. Not at all. So, going to Cal? Going to Cali? Going back to Cavi? Yes. Alright. I spotted it at the beginning, I'm sorry. I'm not clear yet, Pat. was an elemental society quest because there's people that were set it down there in that corner for you know hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a const construct slayer one, but I can't remember how much it's for. Let's see. There's a stealther on the bridge. Yep. I don't have any majory. I mean, you can just do lockpick in. Did you, Did you check, check the demon? Yeah, yeah, somebody's up there. Got a summoner. Oh, I gotcha. So, 
finish the 25k from Elemental. I need one more Cav Paragon. Three bosses. Four Paragons and Poma. And then the uh, Bestial Slayer group. There's no way I'm hitting 250k. The Cav one was hard enough. But I'm in here constantly. The Cav 250 we did a couple weeks ago. I fit. <laughs> Let's see, I've already worked halfway through this fortune tier. What tier, what tier are you on now? Uh, three. Working the four, so 2,000 XP. Have you, have you, like, have you been able to tell a significant difference between each level and your number of drops again? You know, last night we were getting tons of drops, right? I've gotten one thing tonight. I got an Eldritch Core early, and that was it. That's crazy. I haven't gotten anything at all. So I know there's an RNG element to it. So maybe we're just unlucky tonight. I don't know. I wonder if anybody's on the stream has a fortune suit. Do you notice a difference at higher levels? I keep going back to what's RNG and what's actually the benefit of the suit. He's just He's done. He's AFK right now, I think. I want to go back and get ask him. Yeah. He's got 13, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's got Max. Now, the way he talks, the same thing. It's RNG, so he can't tell what's coming from the suit and what's just normal drops, but... I mean, what was it? A couple of nights ago, we'd come down here, and before we made it to level 2, we'd have two or three special loot items. Yeah, but, yeah, but they, they also change, you know, you know, you know, you know how long the mobs are up. Yeah. They've got different um, loot tables. That's true. Maybe, Maybe there's just, you know, there's more farmers to not die faster. Mm -hmm.
You get those looted? I did one of them. I'll go back and get one of them. Do you want to try to pull the Dracolisk out so we don't get the Gorge or two? Oh, he's kind of back in the back. I aggroed him up so hard. Star, what happened? You're doing so good! Oh, so he's about to attack you. <laughs> OMG, thank you so much. I appreciate the follow. I'm telling you, I gotta turn that follower sound down. It scares the crap out of me every time I get up. I definitely know what happens, though. <laughs> I've got your stream muted, so I don't hear it at all. That's so funny. <laughs> That's I, so funny. I appreciate the follow, and thanks for hanging out with us, too. It's uh, always fun. I can't wait to go back and watch that and look at your face. I bet that was interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure it was. It <laughs> felt interesting. <laughs> Which, Which one are you going for first, Bulbor? Uh, yeah, Bulbor. Yeah, Bulbor we can kill pretty quick. Can you heal? Can you heal? Ooh, yeah. Come oh, on, my poor pets. These guys are as drooped. Yeah, no worries. So close. Six more towards our goal. It's gonna be cool. I don't know. Maybe 50, I don't know. The world's our oyster. Okay, okay, so, so I, I, want, I, just I just got to level, level 10. So should, I should I do Sticky, which is the Slime Mirage, has increased damage, and can hinder our hamstring? Or should, or should I do Purge, melee attacks have a chance to transfer poison? Sticky, right? Yeah, because you're not tanking with your slug, are you? No, no she's, she's yeah. not. She's never going to be poisoned. I don't think that'll be useful. That's what I was thinking. But the other one, on the other hand, hinder will happen quite a bit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. These little, these little, little slugs, slugs definitely are underrated. Mm-hmm. I always enjoyed the big slug, the colossal one. Yeah. It's yeah, one of my it. favorite pets when I was leveling up. Is that what you're going for? Hit 75? Um, um, yeah, yeah, I would like to play with that, but I, I really am liking these, uh, in bears. Yeah? Are they getting more powerful as you level them up? Yeah, I mean, do they true. feel different? No. I, I, think, I think it's really early to tell. They're just like level 4 right now. They're still fun though. Yeah, they look cool. Yeah, yeah they do look cool. Look at that. So, the, 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 the gold on that one was 817. Mm -hmm. I really think that that was the more fortune. Oh, it definitely was. Because, because you know, he, he wasn't up long. Because this, this dendron, dendron has been farmed pretty heavily. So the fortune seed gives you a gold bonus. So it's, you, know, you know, we were talking earlier trying to figure out, you know, if it's worth it. Mm -hmm. No, no, I like it. Oh, there we go. That's how we're going to fight the psilocytes from here on out. <laughs> Trap gold on it. <laughs> That's right. Did he loot that one? I don't You got that one? Yep. 
I know, I know this is funny, but I think the rats are one of my favorite things to put in here. So Those are the rattle beetles. Is your heel back on that button? Hmm? Is your heel back on that button? Yeah, it is. Are you, are you running, running anatomy on that guy? No. Anatomy? No, no. No anatomy. Yeah, 827. That's definitely from the fortune soon. Listed again. <laughs> At least he's showing us mercy this time. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching Blacklisted, thank you for not killing it. <laughs> oh, he's smart. <laughs> Should have gone the other way. Hold him. You get out okay? Uh, I didn't leave. He, 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 like this left. Interesting. He's got honor. We fell back because of that earlier. <laughs> yep. He didn't want to kill me twice. This is a nice one. So let me drop this stuff. Or maybe he just had to go to the bathroom and didn't fully fill with it. <laughs> That's it. Everybody's gotta go to the bathroom, man. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Still down there? Yeah, yeah I'm dumping down now. Okay. Hmm. Do you want to do ages? No. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, like that dungeon. Oh, you I mean, you can do it if you want to. I don't mind. You can do Mount Petrum. I'm done with that. Okay. Yeah, we stopped. At 53k? Nice. I've got any magic stuff to that, though, right? I mean, no. aside from like, instruments and stuff. But I got one thing earlier when I, was, I did a solo run. I got one Eldritch Core, and that was it. I mean, other nights we've gotten so much. And a night definitely seems like an anomaly. Do you know when they're supposed to release that material? No. I'm going to spawn at the entrance. I'm using the cartel with the house. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to go through with Bartimus Simpson. That's awesome. Bartimus Simpson? Bartimus Simpson. Simpson. Yeah. I love it. Well, there's the command extra. So this night hadn't been completely fruitless. Those things are so expensive, man. The x rays? Anything command is expensive. Cores are. The x you can get for 15k. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're super cheap. I don't think so, buddy. I don't know if I pulled whatever on me, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I know, I'm a dumb dumb. Yeah, 25k for the extracts. They've gone down a lot. 
All right, if you're still coming around, I'll come back. Yeah, yeah, I'm still in here. Uh, I'm I love these little rock, rock wires too. They're so cool. You didn't run past the polar bear, did you? I know. Okay, bear? No, I'm, no, like, I'm like right on the other side of that wall from you. Okay. I'm killing the, like, terrible larva. Okay. Did we get there right there, there? I'll be there, like, in just, just a second, literally. Okay, I'm coming to that little game now. Sorry. Sorry. What's your, your target? Double bats. Now the tree. Oh, yeah. Those stingers are pretty cool. I think it'd be a fun build. I think like, like little bodies, or, or maybe mm. even that. I don't know. Never looked I'm really. Yeah. I think I could be way off. I'm not. I'm not sure. Let's uh, lure, lure it. Not a decent one a minute ago, but it had a little better wrestling. I would have tamed it for you. Make sure it worked out. Yeah, I heard that too. I've never heard that on any other dungeon. Yeah. It was so subtle though, I was wondering if I was actually like, hearing something. So. Are there any taming builds that use the giant trapdoor spiders or just little ones? I don't know. 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 Some logs. Hey, there's a matron. Did it just spawn? I think, I think it might have. So crazy. <laughs> it's 
wondering where all the Minotaurs went. Spaz is rounding them up. Oh, he's probably on them. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, that is awesome. That guy's got balls, balls man. man. Those things are scary. <laughs> It's one build I haven't tried yet, it's the provocation barn. That's pretty cool, huh? Artemis Samson. That might be one of my favorite character names. Gretchen Wieners. <laughs> I think I just got done doing the boss. That's what I was going to say. I did that. Or Flow Pop. Shoes. Some interesting names. Storms. I, I think she used to be in the she used to be in the. Uh, yeah. I got this death song. Here, here to come back, back if you're not too busy. Just in time. No, less spirit it was in. Huh, and DTS, big deal. Yeah. Oops. You got a major on that one? No, it's hotkey. Oh, <laughs> okay. You got everything hotkeyed. Okay, you the like them? Nope. They just didn't do enough damage. There were better pets at 105. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think the Bonfire Wisp was really good. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Then you had the Elder Strikes. They were just better pets at 105. Oh, that makes perfect sense. No, I, like I like the Royal Wisp. Wisp. I think this is one of my favorite pets. Yeah. I like the um, the on kegs just because they look so cool. Mm. 
These guys were better. I'd love to use an Earth Dragon. They look really cool. That's a pretty decent one, too. Thank you, jeez. It's okay. I hate those things, man. No problem. Is it still over here, the fungal one? Yeah. Did you just kill it? Yeah. Thank you. We got carpet die? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, we killed it so quick, it couldn't summon a demon. I think I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we're good.
Hmm? No, they're not, are they? Whoops. Are they, are all, they all linked in? Mm -hmm. I mean, it killed all my pets. What's that? Uh, I'm I get him resurrected for you. <laughs> Thank you. Nice job. I thought that we were goners, honestly. Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> We should definitely kill these great things. Blacklisted, thanks for the follow, bud. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> for Fanny, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Very cool. Blacklisted, thank you. That's awesome. That is cool. <laughs> you guys rock. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Hey, you're getting attacked. Oh, crap. I'm <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to cross you. Sorry, I'm getting so excited. How's it going, bud? Zach, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Man, two away. Two away. So close. I can feel it. We're going to get there. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Jingo, thank you so much. Oh, we were really close now, huh? <laughs> oh, we just did it. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you so much. That's awesome. You guys are the best. <laughs> Dubs, thanks for the follow. And you guys are making my night. That is so cool. Good 
Very cool. So, welcome to the stream. So, this is uh, my wife and I, Star. We stream every now and then and play more UO than I care to admit. <laughs> yeah, we're doing our, our nightly farm shenanigans. Oh, hey, I got that carpet too. 53, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Sweet McPawn sauce, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so Star, she is the collector for sure. Such a cool house. <laughs> Mine's just lame by comparison. But yeah, such cool stuff. Not. Matt Doolittle, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that so much. <laughs> yeah. Alright, alright, Blacklisted. Are you ready? <laughs> Right here, conveniently located in Inferno Island. <laughs> oh, we did tangle with you a little bit earlier. Star's running her uh, Count Dracula tonight. Yeah, he's got a little level, level but he's fun to play. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, can, can you raise my pet for me? I still don't have my arms arm 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 up to 80. Yeah, that's something we have in common. We like, uh, we like Gav. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't see the one that's dead. Are you sure it's dead? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's orange, orange cat. cat. Uh, can you move around so I can see it? Okay. I think. That was close. Okay. Oh, you said it's orange cat? Yeah. Yes. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so Star, she's been collecting everything you can think of. She likes the uh, server rares and event rares, so. <laughs> yep. So she's got some cool stuff, like the pot of gold was really cool. The, uh, of course, the recent stuff, like sugar skulls, the base of roses, really cool. The garage box, the original, some cavernum stuff. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, really cool. Finally got one of those bells. You got the fragments. I think the, I think the fragment is one of my favorite things. There's a couple, There's a couple other colored ones that came out while we were on break. break. I'm, I'm not sure where they came from. The fragments? Yeah, it's like, it's like multiple, multiple colors, colors now. now. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Gav stuff. Yeah, her house is just amazing by comparison. Mine, uh, my decoration consists of a few plants that I found in this M I made in a <laughs> with fishing net star gave me and the old Christmas tree so you can see it's just it's primo okay. look at it. I mean, I mean, primo stuff that's right my bale hide carpet yeah some neat uh, Christmas stuff my prize decoration, this uh, token of heroism I got from an accidental distro. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days they're going to get you for that. The turkey. Yeah. They're going to come by and find it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm laugh a little. That'd be funny. Yeah, I don't know. I need to, I need to have Star come in here and help me fix this thing up a little bit. No, no this is your baby, man. <laughs> But, but I mean, you can't see the waterfall from in here. That's the whole reason you want the house. Yeah, now that is uh, talking about the reason to have a house. We got this cool backyard pond and waterfall thing. It's uh, it's pretty cool, and practically neighbors with Star too. It's pretty cool. Cause it worked out pretty well. Thanks, thanks, thanks for, for pointing that out. I uh, appreciate that. All right, how do we do this? Maybe I just don't wish talk. Yeah, that would work. I can just talk. Should be yeah, if you're coming in twice, yeah. That'll work. Uh, we'll figure this out. We're stream noobs. Yeah. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Thanks for the feedback, though, seriously. To uh, get that Yeti mic back out, and I could set it right here in the middle, pick up everything. There you go. Do that tomorrow. That'll be uh, 
activity for tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Uh, all right. I'll get back in just a second. Yeah, no problem. All right, where to now? All right. Everything's so packed tonight. Oh, with the, uh, with the Echo being picked up twice? Yeah, so I'm thinking the Yeti's got that setting that, you know, uh, omnidirectional. I had uh, been using it for work, but they don't need to hear me that well. <laughs> we'll go back to the cheap headset and I'll bring the Yeti back down. <laughs> we'll do it right. Oh, let's see. Back to Cav. They do better. I've got this fortune suit on. We've gotten two extracts tonight. That's it. Two. RNG has not been favorable. <laughs> I feel like we need at least one more thing to call it a good night. I'm going to switch over and uh, play on my main character. Yeah. I'm down in Cav right now if you want to join me. Uh, yeah, no. So what do you guys think about that new uh, Valentine hue? We got a super hot pink color. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to pick any up. Now we were talking the original Valentine hue a couple of years ago was really nice. Yeah, this is real rich pink color. Yeah, so they had it in the general chat the other day. Owen posted it. Uh, this yesterday? Yeah, it was also in the home decor, like the home decor fashion channel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Oh, let's see if I can find it. Fashion. Yeah, there we go. Okay, copy the message link. Let's see if this works. There you go. Try that. Looks interesting. Kind of looks like, uh, yeah, no problem. It reminds me of, like the powder blush, powder yeah, bubble gum, but it's got that uh, that shimmery hue to it. Looks nice. Yeah, I'm almost see if you want to slow down for a sec. <laughs> slow down. <laughs> Somebody's right. got the demon, so okay. going around. Yeah, it looks really nice though. Makes me wonder what they're gonna release. Now that they've got those new graphics designers, saw the new clothes back at Christmas. Now the new Valentine's hue. Yeah, I think we just need to set up a group comment now and thank you now. <laughs> so get our money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Donate more money to one. I don't mind donating at all. I think it's awesome, you know, from out the start. You know, out of all the things I spend my money on, I've never regretted donating money to the server. I know, right? Yeah. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. I've got tracking, I've got stitches, border guard spaces. It's coming from the middle. Hi, baby. Hey, baby guy. You want to wait for him? <laughs> um, I'm just gonna wait to be a Texas. Stitches. There's slaw. Yeah, attacking me. Uh, it looks like sloth attacking you too. Do you get out? I'm dead. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, no worries. I can't take both of them. That sucked. I need a blacklist to teach me the skills. <laughs> yeah, for real. Sorry, I'm not supposed to talk in double. <laughs> you gotta figure that out. Surely there's a good way to, you know, take like Discord voice chat, right? Yeah. And route it into like Streamlabs and not have that. But then again, okay. so the way Star and I have our desks set up. I'm facing towards the bedroom. She's right next to me, facing the opposite direction. So we can see each other. Like, <laughs> I've got my computer tower here. She's got her monitor here, and I've got like this little gap that I can see her. We can talk to each other. 
yeah, we should really do the dual pit thing again. You remember when we did that? <laughs> the arena? <laughs> We didn't do that. Oh, yep. I actually got a, a Howling Mage, but I mean, just I'm terrible at PvP. It's awful. It's embarrassing. Yeah. And my character, she's not PvP at all. Yeah, me and Star, we're glass cannons. You don't lose anything good, did you? Nothing. Nothing really. No. Really. All good. Yeah. Oh, maybe we do Palma? Again? Yeah. You want to do Palma? Sure. All right. Just going to get my... No. No. No, it is zero. And sorry, you don't have any magic resist either, do you? No, not on this character. Yeah. I do have one I was playing earlier on Dracula. He's going to be my PvP tamer. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. okay, I got it, I got it. So it kind of goes like this. We're taking a very calculated risk, and we're terrible at math. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much right. So, you know, zero resist. But Star's got tracking, so at least we see it coming. So, you know, it's no surprise. Either get one or the other. Yeah, I wonder why Sloth was running with him. Oh, yeah. I don't know, blocking maybe. He used to be our neighbor, do you remember? Sloth? Who was that? Slur. No, that was Slur. That was Slur. Yeah. Oh, the, slur words. the original griefer. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, so he's funny. Cool. Yeah. He'd steal from me, and when he attacked him, he'd run off and come back with those lethal poison weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Kill you. Ah, oh, he was fun. I wonder if he still plays Slur. Hey, thanks Seagate for the follow. <laughs> really appreciate it. You guys have helped us reach our goal. Really, really cool. I can't believe it. You know, so the tracky 120, the tick happens like, what, every 10 seconds? You get a tick, but even at 120, they're like, what, three or four screens away at 120? Yeah. I mean, we're talking pretty good distance, right? Yeah. I mean, I would think you should be getting that arrow sooner than that. But then again, you know, depending on when they get in range, it could just be in between the ticks, right? Yeah, the 80 tiles, that's for dungeons, though, right? Isn't it 120 overland? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I thought it was 60 tiles. 80 tiles. Yeah, you should definitely be noticing that arrow sooner. Do you have a uh, overhead message pop up when you start tracking? Yeah, the overhead message helps out a lot. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I found out on the overhead message, you can actually uh, put in some parameters. So instead of saying, like, just a word, you can put, like, uh, curly brackets one, or curly braces one, curly brace, curly brace two, curly brace. It'll actually pull parts of that tracking message out. So instead of just saying tracking, you can say tracking person, this many tiles, you know, whatever that looks like. I thought that was pretty cool. But I find that out after I drop tracking. It doesn't do me any good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go for it now, man. That was just a surprise. You want to do Poma? That's fine. Okay. Poma it is. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. What's the format, though, to get it to do that? Okay. Yeah, so thinking about the, just the format. Mine's so basic, it just is tracking. I should put a funny message in there. Like, get out, man, you're about to die. <laughs> GTFO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm 
forgot to get a shepherd's crook. You got to get what? I forgot, I forgot to get a shepherd's crook. I've got one. Are you, are you using hurting? On my mate's steamer, I was. Sorry, I forgot. It's a double box. No, good. I think I've got my mic positioned so it'll pick you up now. Oh, and you don't have to worry about using Discord. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, so we'll try that. And we'll see if that's any better. You guys can let us know if that's a little better. Okay, so there's the the format. Thanks for sharing that, Jingo. That's awesome. So, with the 345, you said that shows their name and tiles overhead, but that's it, right? Or does it show any other information? But I guess that's all you need is name and how far they are away, right? That's awesome. Makes me want to pick up tracking again. Let's see, what would I drop? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, this character anyway. Oh, you could always make a moment. Yeah. I don't know, even that stuff on the decks are, you know, drop for ends or drop camping. Yeah. And you know I can't do it without my forensics. We do have Something about that leather, addicted to it. <laughs> That's awesome. You should update yours to say that. Do you use the overhead messages? Or do you just look for the arrow? I, I usually just look for the arrow. But I can change it. Yeah, so... With overhead messages, you look for that now tracking message. And yeah. it'll pop up over your head. So you don't have to look for the arrow. Gotcha. It's pretty nice. I love the color of these snakes. They're so pretty. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're gonna find us a good dragon. Good Drake. Are you gonna do it to Druid or are you gonna do it? I'll borrow it. <laughs> you can live with it. Yeah. Yeah, so with the overhead message, uh, you just gotta pull out part of the message it looks for in the log. So in that case, it says now tracking, colon, name, space, I think is what it says. But, so with overhead message, hold on, these won't run too fast. Terrible. Can you do that? Yes. Yeah. Off. Um, yeah, yeah, so with overhead message, you type in the text you're looking for, and then you type in the text that you want it to pop up over your head. And uh, what Jingo shared is really good. So not only do you avoid just a generic message, you can actually have it put in the name of the person and tiles as well. <laughs> you think we'll ever find a good Drake in Every time we come down here, they're just terrible. We need to go to Dark Mine. Yeah, that would be good. See if we can find the one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think your pets are playing. No, they're good. And demons are up. Uh, terrible. Okay, I'm gonna parallel off the marker. Alright. Thanks. Mark. Sweet. Yeah, let me know if you have uh, a. Um, if you aren't able to get the uh, overhead message work, and I'll send you a, a link on how to set it up. Are you talking to me? <laughs> if you need it too, I'll send it to you too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll send it to everybody. <laughs> yeah, so nice though. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out one for uh, the T8 maps for the, uh, what is it? The Echo of Lost Time or... Whichever one that produces those balls that explode. It's just terrible. I'm trying to figure out how to recognize those, uh, those balls that have been deployed or uh, generated. 
<laughs> I don't know. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, pop up a message to uh, GTFO, but. I haven't figured it out yet. Make your screen flat. You can set it in the bed. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, that'd be nice. That would be nice. Look at that. Easy peasy. Tony, I'm really hoping with this head overhaul that you'll see a lot more diversity in the pads. I'll try and pull one back. Thank you. You know, it's funny that we almost seem to kill stuff quicker with Count Drac. Yeah, that's what I was nursing. That's crazy. Isn't that interesting? Drac's a beast. Yeah, I like it. The Dracools. <laughs> I'm so funny about that. <laughs> Yeah, if y'all haven't looked up Twilight, uh, there's a video on YouTube. It's called A Dramatic Reading of Twilight Fan Fiction. It's the funniest thing I've ever watched in my life. You gotta check it out. So, so he tries to read it in just this really formal way, like really get into it, you know. Uh, watch out for Bob really get into it, but he reads it as it's written. So we're talking every spelling error, bad grammar, you name it. That's how he reads it. So that's where uh, Dracul's and Bell's and Edward comes from. Ooh. Bubba healing me. Oh crap. <laughs> Take another dirt nap. Yeah, that guy does not like you. No, he does. Dramatic reading of Twilight fan fiction. That's funny. <laughs> so funny. That's the same guy who does, uh... So he does the dramatic reading of Twilight fan fiction. He also reads, uh, Yahoo Answers, too. <laughs> Which is just as funny. He uh, found a whole string of questions on the Ouija board, but people are pronouncing them like the Luigi board, the Waweg board. <laughs> Funny. And then I did another one on pregnancy questions. Impergante. <laughs> it's funny. Definitely check it out. Worth your time. Save my life again. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs a star to uh, dungeon with. <laughs> so my bandage timer is up to 30 seconds. How high do you think I can get it? Alright. I'm, uh, I'm full. Yeah. 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 yeah, we can work our way out. Yeah, that makes two of us. Let's get those, uh, drapes. You really want one of those, aren't you? I don't really want a good drape. I used to have a really good one, and I gave it to somebody, and I told people I gave it to Yeah? Yeah. Gave it away. That's not That was terrible. Are you surprised? No. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. Ooh. 
That's a good run. Fire flag too. Fun stuff. So we got the two extracts. So we got the poison and command extract, and we got that fire flag too. But that was it. Yeah. Like seems so odd, right? Like even with the uh, fortune suit, we would have expected we'd get more. I'm gonna carry lots of our water. Thank you. Ooh, I just opened up the next link. Nice. Alright. That was awesome. Nice job. Look at that. Think monkeys any good? It's so funny that we're checking monkeys. We never used to pay any attention to them. Terrible. Kill it. Just terrible. You kill it, but then they will spawn in, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll wait. Not that interested in monkeys. Hmm. I don't know, maybe one day though. I'll give them a shot. I don't know, I'm always late to the party though. By the time I try, people will be moved on to something else. It was Blood Apes a couple of months ago. That's Silverback Monkeys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad people are trying to make stuff though, Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, can you scoot your guy over this little bit? Of course. You can't get the stable there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think that was? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid. Mm. Alright. That was fun. So already 11.30 here. I got an early morning tomorrow morning, so I've got to, uh, I'm going to have to call it a night with that run. But I uh, appreciate you guys joining us tonight. It's fun uh, hanging out with you, doing some dungeon runs. Really enjoyed it uh, quite a bit. Yeah, so we streamed uh, just kind of off and on, but we've gotten into it and uh, really started streaming a lot more. Yeah, we're streaming at least several times a week. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, I think we started streaming again, what, maybe a week ago? Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're getting started back up. So, I'm glad you got to join us, hang out with us for a little bit. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a better setup tomorrow. <laughs> better mic. We won't have this uh, double talk and uh, be good. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Hope you join us again this week. Hope you guys all have a great night. And again, thanks for the follows, helping us reach that 50 goal. You guys are the best. So we will talk to you tomorrow. So I'm going to pay it forward. Let's see if we can figure out how to do this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hold on just a minute. Let's see. let's see if we can pay it forward with the raid. Because that was pretty awesome. All right. Who's on? No one. <laughs> so it looks like that. No, it looks like, uh, should Susan? Maybe not? Okay. Let's see. We'll surprise him, huh? That'll be fun. All right. Yeah, I can't wait to watch that into your face. Yep. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys have an amazing night. Pay it forward. Help this guy out. Hope you guys have a good night. We'll talk to you later this week. Take care.
It's going well. That, that's how it tends to be with these guys. It goes well, and then it doesn't. Uh, that is entirely my fault for not having anything above stock plate and armor. But...